Dr. Peter Hotez now, pediatrician, co-director of the Center for Vaccine Development at Texas Children's Hospital. Doctor, great to see you. You heard Meg there. What, what's your biggest concern about this possibility of a twindemic? Is this real? Yeah, I think Meg kind of put her finger on it. You know, I think what's happened is everyone's a bit spooked about what happened with RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, where we had this massive resurgence at a weird time of year that we ordinarily wouldn't see it in the summer. And the thinking was the kids weren't interacting much and therefore they didn't have build up much immunity to uh, RSV. And then they all got exposed uh, as they started getting together with devastating consequences. So we even had a lot of combined RSV and COVID co-infections in pediatric ICUs and pediatric hospitals over the summer here in the South. So they don't want to see that happen again with influenza. So the message is get your influenza vaccine in addition to your COVID vaccine, and you can get them at the same time. And so getting that word out, I think, is going to be really important. Got it last month. Don't wait. Now the COVID vaccine for, of the news of the day. What do you tell parents who got the vaccine but may still be hesitant about giving shots to their younger kids? Well, I think the other, you know, there's a narrative out there that's that's false, Shep. You know, we, in, you know, the, the narrative has been that this is an illness that's exclusively of older Americans, those over the age of 70 or 80. And we learned with this Delta variant over the summer. Well, it was never true, and it became more apparent than ever uh, over the summer with this Delta variant. I don't think the virus is necessarily targeting the kids. It's just that it was a massive firestorm because there were so many unvaccinated Americans with this highly transmissible Delta variant. So we have 30,000 hospitalizations mm. of, of, of children so far wow. and 500 deaths. And that, that's a lot. And so the the key now is, and not to mention all the long COVID effects of kids, which we're just beginning to get our arms around. So the need is apparent. And watch out for that misinformation, because the other piece of disinformation that you're hearing is that we're only vaccinating kids to protect the adults and that kids are fine and and we're only using them as kind of cannon fodder to to protect the adults and it's nonsense. Kids need to get that vaccination. And so it's really good news. And hopefully shortly after Halloween, uh, it'll be released to the public. But once again, I think we're going to see a lot of variability and in, in uptake of that of the of of the vaccine for the five to, to, to 11 year olds. Here's why. So in the northern states up in the northeast, we're getting hitting 75, 80 percent of the teenagers, 12 to 17, being vaccinated. That's a sign that parents are going to be ready to vaccinate their younger kids as well, most likely, as opposed to where I am in the south, yeah. where you're looking at maybe 35 to 40 percent of the adolescents vaccinated. That's a sign that a lot of parents may be reluctant to vaccinate their little kids as Hope well. Hope they aren't. Hope not. Dr. Hotez, thanks so much.